Hello everyone, Jen Obvious, and today's Unity lesson, I'm going to show you how to activate an audio source when you pick up an object, locally and globally synced. Pretty cool. Let's get started. Hello everyone, Jen Obvious, back with another Unity tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to activate an audio source when you pick up an object. Right now we've got this doll in here, same one that's used in my Planet of the Apes world. We're going to add an audio device to it, make it a pickup, add a udon behavior so we can make it local for each player or globally synced so when they pick up the object, the audio triggers. All right, let's get started. So we've got the doll here. First thing you want to do is add an audio source. And we're going to go down to audio and audio source. We're going to call this uh, audio doll. All right, we've already got a imported uh, file here. So we're going to take this audio clip, put it in there. And let's raise down the volume a little bit. Make that 3D. Make this linear so we can have a fall off and we'll make it 20. All right, so we've got the audio all set up on the doll. And you want to turn it off. So you don't want that playing when you spawn in. Okay, let's go back to the doll, the parent here. And the first thing we're gonna do is add a box collider. So let's add the box collider. Next, we're going to add a VRC pickup. So make it pick upable for the player. Uh, we'll leave that as use gravity. It's just going to fall right down on the cube. That's fine. And we're going to add another component, VRC object sync. So everybody in the instance will see a player pick up that object. All right. So you can notice that the layer changed from default to pick up. All right. Next thing to do is add component we're going to do in udon behavior <clears throat> and we're going to create new program open udon graft all right we're going to go up to variables we need a game object and let's rename this target make that public come over here to your graph Right click, create node, and we're gonna need an event on pickup. Event on pickup. Next, you want to create node, game object, set active. We'll need a boolean. And unary negation. Need another game object. Get active self. We're going to drag our target over here, connect our on pickup, connect our target, which is the uh, going to be the audio source. Let's connect these noodles here. So we've got that part done. Next, we're going to need a event on pickup use down. And we're just going to highlight all of these, right click, copy, and paste them down here. Because we're gonna need it for this one. This other side, when they drop the object. Move your target back out. Connect your noodles, like so. So this whole graph right here is for local for each player. Hit compile, scene, go back down here. You notice the target is empty. Let's drag our audio into our target. And everything looks good. Go ahead and save and play. Now when we pick up the object, it should play an audio. And there you go. Okay, we're out of play mode back in the Unity editor. Now I'm going to show you how to make it globally synced for every player in the instance. All right, first thing you need to do is go down 
to your udon behavior and the easiest way to do it is just remove it all right let's add a new one so we're going to add component udon behavior new program open udon graft and we're going to start up here first thing you want to do go up to variable let's do game object rename this to target make it public and then you're going to start with create node and events on pickup next we're going to need a send custom network event and we're going to need a custom event event custom okay and we're going to call this um, toggle target all right and let's go ahead and connect this to here we'll need a game object set active a boolean Nary negation game object get active self and we're going to move our target over here start connecting some noodles like so okay so we've got that part done and we're going to hit uh, reload a couple times come up here to send custom network event and select toggle target the one from here okay that part is done all right next we're going to go down here and right click create node events on pickup use down now let's go ahead and just copy these I'm going to copy put them paste them down here because we're going to need it for this step drag your target back out and we're going to need a um, another uh, send custom network event fit all these in here <laughs> all right let's bring these down here a little bit because uh, we're going to need a event custom in here and let's call this um target down target down okay yeah that'll work connect the noodles Gonna do custom now. We're gonna do here. Let's bring this down so it's kind of all uniform, just like we had up here. And let's connect these and hit reload a couple times and select target down for your other custom network event. Okay, now this is everything right here that you need to make it globally synced for every player, but we need to add more scripts to make it work for late joiners to the instance. So we need to write some more script. Okay, so we're gonna start up here. We're going to create another node, uh, events on player join. Try to bring that in so you guys can see that. Um, next, we're going to do a networking. <clears throat> Git is master. And we're gonna need a branch. Let's make a branch. Move that up to here. Let's make another branch. This is the easiest way I know how to do it. there 
And let's go ahead and delete. Click on that and delete that line right there because we're going to need this to go through these two branches. And next we're going to need a send custom network event. And we're going to connect that. This is going to be the true side, okay, for the uh, for the on pickup. Um, let's go ahead and do a game object and get active self. And we're going to bring our target out here, which is our audio source going to be. And let's connect up these noodles. This is for the true side. And we're going to need a event custom. And we're going to call this um, toggle target true. Next, we're going to need, and next, we're going to create node, game object, um, set active, drag our target back out, connect our noodles, like so. Now, we should be able to hit reload a couple times and select our toggle target true. Now we're going to make the false side for when it drops. And we're going to need a another send custom network event. And this will be the false side. Go into here. And let's move this back out again. We're going to need another event custom. And we're going to call this um, toggle target false. All right. Uh, game object. And set active. Come in here a little bit so you can see it better. Drag our target out. Connect our noodles. And hit reload a couple times and select target, uh, toggle target false. And on this down here, you're going to check value. Okay, leave that one blank. All right, so this is the entire script to make it globally synced for every player in the instance. We just zoom in here, give me another pan real close up. We did this side. And then we went over to the late joiner. And did that script. All right, let's see, make sure it works. Oh yeah, we gotta go down here, this is the target. So we want this audio to go down here in the target, right here in the variable. Make sure that audio is off. And I think we are set. Let's go ahead and uh, save and play. And you should hear the audio. And that is already been tested in VR chat on my new world. It is globally synced, so it does work. All right, let's exit out of that. All right, and that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped a lot of creators out there. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.